with this David Lee with Philosophy Video Game Philosophy. And I'm so excited because it is Valentine's Day. So I wanted to talk about Lily, the ending arcade credits theme from Guilty Gear XR Design. I remember listening to this song way back in high school and loving it. And wanting to sing it too, actually. So I might sing a little. But outside of that, I'm David Lee. What's I just got into? I'm going to be a 2B PhD student, so that's awesome. In Force Ecosystem Society, so yes, I am an expert on environmentalism, but I'm expert on all things um, in philosophy and psychology and uh, religion and psychoanalysis. More psychoanalysis than philosophy and psychology. But either way, I love talking about Guilty Gear. I love talking about Guilty Gear music. I love talking about all video games. I love talking about all video game music. Without further ado, Lily. Lily! change to be the sky is not the same no more today there is no turning back lily not change to be covers all we judge books by today if they are shiny or not every page inside is made in full as always but no one's gonna read them out again. So, but no one's, every page is meaningful as always. So, even though this is a love song, what we're really talking about here is, well, we're talking about a love song to the past. So, everyone's so accept, is so cares only about the, the pages of the book. People only care about, this is both multiple meanings, this is about, I mean, a person, they only care about the looks of, of, of their partner, which is very much part of the machine culture and the fact that we need instant gratification. But what also matters is just about, I mean, a device. Like, everyone just needs the new iPhone every year. Everyone needs the newest thing. They can't be obsessed. They can't love what is old. They can't be content with their lives. And that causes environmental degradation. There, there goes my force. Like, when people constantly need and seek gratification from something new, something novel. Not to say that we can't love novelty. Novelty is highly important because actually our desire for the new, for desire for the, is actually something that keeps us in the present, keeps us in the past in a way. It keeps us in the past because it, it allows us to only care about this current train of thought with our security rather than going outside of that. So the actual new is to 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 K with the old, which is very Japanese in its paradox. Oh, please don't wait for me, darling. Stay out of the cold rain, or your heart may be camarasi. Oh, this is all you do again. This is in context. Aria has not been revived yet properly. Like Jacko is not really a thing yet. So that means that he's still kind of, but there's a lot in Exord's side of musings of the old Arya. A lot of flashbacks between him and Arya, Sol and Arya, his wife, that's like the center of the plot of the series. And because of that, he's just like, Arya, someday you will be back and you will be mine. But for now, please just stay there and I'll hold on to you for someday. He's the way for me, darling. that got killed by well in I know in reality this is all magic but technolo but scient scientific thinking magic like the science science killing magic basically what happened is again that magic was basically outlawed oh no science technology was outlawed and replaced with science I mean with magic but that magic was basically treated like science so because of that her soul it Arya's soul was drying up because she was lost to Science. I mean, in a way, yes, because in context, again, Arya needed to, Arya was going, the whole deal is that Arya was going to be cured by, by the gear cells, by the gear project. Now, this gear project, basically, but this gear project, this, uh, her immortality, her getting a longer life, caused the death of all of Japan. Now, and that man did this for a good reason, because everyone else was getting did this just kind of kind of save the Japanese, but they still died, so I don't know if it helps. So our desires for progress, our desires to live longer, our desires for security, ultimately leads to destruction. You don't need to wait, need to wait, need to wait for us. 
you don't need to wait for us. It's like saying, Arya, you don't wait. I'll be there for you. Like, you don't, we don't, I don't, but Soul saying, I can go forward. I don't need you. Because I mean, he ultimately is going to accept Jacko um, to be Jacko and not Arya. I love this. I love this guitar riff so much. You never change. Winds are not so soft no more today. They change the cold inside. Really, you never change. They all want a brand new. Not even nature itself. Is, is, is sad. Like, the environment is sad. Like, climate change happened, and everything's cold and sad. No box today. No matter what's inside. Well, let's continue. All these pieces that meant so you don't care what's what's about life. You don't care about what's what you get. You just want something new. You, all you new people, all you young people. As I say, as I am one of these young people who, who constantly likes new things and likes a new video game, I, I'm not saying I'm not guilty. <laughs> so much to me those days. Tide has washed them all away to vain. Oh, please don't wait for me, darling. Everything from the past is gone. Like, all that was, Aria is gone. Meaning is gone. Everything is gone. <laughs> Stay out of the cold rain For your heart may be coming rusty Oh please don't wait for me darling Don't stand there in this heat You were falling dry now You don't need to wait Need to wait Need to wait for us What is there to say? Everything's too late And we all accept it that way So be it Time marches on Really Really That's the big question Because in, with, with, when we think about presentism We realize that what, what, and When the future fundamentally goes forward we're really just stuck in the present because this is basically the idea in our technological ideas that when that we believe that the rapture's already happened that we've already achieved a sense of utopia but when we've achieved the sense of utopia there's so much still probably pro problems happening and you're actually stuck in the present because which means that Fundamentally, you don't actually allow time to go forward because you don't allow for something truly new. Something truly new is an in, re, the reinvigoration of the past, which is what my boy Carl Jung would say, and many others would say. You need to reinvigorate the past to actually go forward, not to just create constantly create new stuff to actually go forward. Oh, this riff! As long as Aria is fundamentally there somewhere. Fundamentally, love will never die. And that's the, tr the true thing is that we talk about science and all that. But fundamentally, this song is truly saying love never dies. My soul's love 
Frederick's love for Arya will be there, and it will be succeed in the end, even if he decides to take the brand new box, to take Arya, or take Jacko instead of something old. He, the fact is, Arya is fundamentally in Jacko somewhere, and he will take it. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'll get this out as soon as possible so you enjoy it. But whoever you have, say the, tell you how much you care about the, the people you, you love in your life, both platonic and uh, romantically, if you have that. By the way, this has been David Lee's Philosophy of Philosophy. 